Good evening and welcome to our special week of evening prayers uh, in this week before Christmas as we count down towards Christmas Day. During this evening, uh, when it comes to the Magnificat, we will be using the special O antiphons. These uh, words will be familiar to you as they make up the verses of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Um, but they are ancient words um, that reflect these days uh, down to just, the, just before Christmas Eve. So we will be using that this evening. Let's spend a moment in quiet. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love with vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. A short reflection on our psalm uh, by Chris Coxworth. This evening psalm, often used in night prayer, gives us reassuring words to say as we entrust ourselves to sleep. It forms a pair with Psalm 3 and speaks of the betrayal and insult experienced by the psalmist and the foolishness of those who seek after falsehood. It fits David's time as a fugitive, honoured by the nobles who turned from him in favour of Saul. It chimes with the life of believers today as we see so much love of vain things, an obsession with what that which is empty in our world. We are surrounded by false promises of satisfaction from sources that cannot deliver. The test of faith comes when Saul seems to be winning, when sin seems to be playing, when emptiness seems to fill its supplicants with what they need, when their corn and wine and oil increase. It is in those moments when we are called upon to exercise the strength of faith, believing that God can be trusted to lift up the light of his countenance upon us. The first dawn of God's light is gladness of heart, a deep gladness, a deep inner joy that overrides outward difficulties. The fullness of God's light upon us and our world, though, is the promised shalom, the peace of God that penetrates every dimension of human life, putting right that which is wrong and proving just that it is the Lord only who secures life for humanity. O come, thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close the path to misery. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, 
and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so let's pray. We pray to the Lord. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our Lord. For the work we have done and the people we have met today may bring us closer to you. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. And the collect for today. God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to meet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's been lovely to pray with you this evening. Do come back tomorrow for another Christmas uh, evening prayer. God bless.